Hello, I'm talking about how movement disorders, um, generally neurologic conditions, uh, we're going to talk about how those relate to the mental health uh, nursing setting. First of all, I think it's important that we uh, try to define or decode or at least explain some of the different types of movement disorders as they relate to the mental health nursing setting. First of all, I think it's very important that we understand that uh, what tardive dyskinesia is. Now, tardive dyskinesia is uh, generally a uh, a combination of extrapyramidal side effects, essentially what they are, movement disorders, um, that generally, though they can have a, a lot of different uh, types of causes, the mental health nursing setting generally are caused by long-term use of uh, particular types of antipsychotics in nursing journals and, on, and hear about on TV is Haldol or Haldol Paradol, which is an antipsychotic drug. There's a lot of bad side effects, but one of those uh, over the long term uh, result of a, a neuroleptic problem uh, that occurs in the body. And the person will develop extrapyramidal side effects such as lip smacking, which is like similar to a, uh, a geriatric or elderly person. Uh, who might have a uh, Parkinsonian movement disorder. It's very similar. A lot of times they'll have, you know, shaking hands and love jerking, rhythming movements. Uh, but generally, these are caused by uh, long-term use of a lot of antipsychotic drugs. Now, this movement disorder, tardive dyskinesia, is completely different um, from the movement disorder Tourette syndrome. Now, Tourette syndrome um, is actually not even a mental health disorder at all, although Patients with Tourette syndrome uh, oftentimes have comorbidities such as anxiety or depression uh, or obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, but Tourette syndrome is actually a neurologic disorder where you have two motor tics such as jerking of the head or uh, excessive blinking of the eyes uh, or some type of movement, uh, usually in combination with the vocal tic, such as clearing of the throat or grunting. Uh, you know, if you've watched, you know, TV shows, you'd think that everybody who has Tourette syndrome probably um, barks or yells or howls or something like that. That's actually uh, cochlealia, which is a very, um, I wouldn't say rare, but it's an infrequent uh, tick because people with Tourette syndrome don't have seizures. They have ticks because they have problems with the synapses in their brain uh, that cause these uncontrolled movements. And uh, But it's completely neurological in nature. It has nothing to do with uh, mental health whatsoever except that it's a genetic disorder. Uh, that's A neurological disorder that is, uh, in fact, inherited. Um, you know, you, a lot of people, in fact, with Tourette syndrome take Haldol-Paradol. <laughs> it's just kind of interesting because it can cause um, more movement disorders. But generally, when somebody takes Haldol-Paradol for a protracted period of time, uh, the patient gets tardive dyskinesia uh, as opposed to Tourette syndrome because Tourette syndrome is, in fact, a hereditary neurological non-mental health uh, disorder. My name is Nick the Nurse. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.